It's a uniquely busy day for space flight, if you haven't heard. Three <laughs> launches today, all with ties to Central Florida. We had a spectacular launch this morning on the morning news from our coast. That rocket was carrying a satellite that is a part of a mission, a missile defense system. But in less than an hour, a half an hour, well, actually at the bottom of the hour, yeah, this now. hour, a space tourism flight is set to take off from Texas. Okay, so these are the six crew members for Blue Origin's NS-22 mission who will have a sub orbital experience. Now, one of them there on the picture is from Brevard County mm -hmm. native and business owner Steve Young. News Six's Mark Lehman joins us live from Young's Restaurant Pineapples <laughs> in Melbourne, a very popular spot. And Mark, this is a ride of a lifetime for Young. Yes, and that launch time has been pushed back about 20 minutes, but you can only imagine how excited the owner of this restaurant, Steve Young, is. I can tell you the anticipation has been building here at Pineapples in Melbourne. Workers and locals excited to see the restaurant's owner launch into space. He'll be the latest to fulfill a lifelong dream through Jeff Bezos' space company. The Brevard County businessman Steve Young paying for his seat and joining five others on board the autonomous capsule that will be launching from Texas. Young previously served as the CEO of a telecommunications company and opened Pineapples last year. This will be Blue Origin's third human flight of the year, and it comes just a few hours after a launch that happened closer to home. Just before 6.30 this morning, an Atlas V rocket blasted off from Canaveral Space Force Station. On board was the last in a series of missile detection satellites for the military. That liftoff was a picture-perfect one without any problems or delays this morning and the hope now is that will be the same for this next launch as we come back out here live everyone here at pineapples is tuned in and they'll be watching the countdown when the live stream begins uh, just minutes from now they'll be cheering on uh, young and his crewmates crewmates again that launch time was set for 9 30 it's now been pushed back to 9 50 this morning but when that happens we'll bring it to you live here on news six we're now reporting live in melbourne mark layman getting results news six what a fun watch party mark thank you and speaking of the crew this is the first time that we have also people coming in from egypt and portugal to fly into space and i love hearing about what items they might be bringing yeah. into suborbital space and there will be a surfing santa of coco beach that will be it's a plush toy <laughs> that will be in tow to represent his uh, florida roots so i like i like that little extra tidbit there yeah and he said he was really inspired by william shatner's flight of course you know he was the lucky one, one among the first to get to go mm -hmm. uh, to wrap up this stack day you know we mentioned three launches so there is that falcon 9 rocket carrying a korean satellite and that is launching from space space launch complex four at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station targeting a 7.08 p.m. Mm -hmm. So you can see that on News 6 at 7 o'clock tonight. So or you can drive out there and see it yourself. That's true, too. Right? If, so if you, you know, if you got the gas and you want to, you know, get in that traffic. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's the end of summer. Nice <laughs> way to true. kind of top off the end of summer. Um, but if we actually do get a launch, it would be the first time ever that the Space Coast has two launches in one day. So mm -hmm. exciting times. So stand by 950. Mm -hmm. We'll we'll wait to see what happens a little bit later this hour. Yeah, Space Coast really living up to its name today. It right? is.